my rhythm is like totally off right now because I'm a white dude. I, I have no rhythm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, get some. Next thing, we're going to open up Logic. You know, how do you start? How do you do this thing? You know, I mean, when you install from an app store, wherever you install it at, it's going to install in your applications folder. It's going to be somewhere in here. So I actually have mine in, in a folder. You know, never mind that. You could put it wherever you want. I just like to move mine in a folder, and I have, like, multiple different versions of Logic because I do testing with Logic. So, like, right now on this computer, I have... 10.2.2 now the latest version right now is like 3.1 or something and there you know there's a little bit of difference you know they got a little bit better GUI on some of the um, compressors and and some of the uh, tools but other than that you know it's pretty much the same and I think Alchemy is a little bit more stable in the newer version of 3 versus 2 so let's go ahead and just open it up so the first thing it's going to do is just going to search your your audio unit plugins and it's going to say, all right, you got more sounds available. You can download the sounds, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to hit continue and because I want to skip that because I don't like it doing it because I have no idea what it's doing. So I just hit continue. And it'll give you this thing like what's new in Logic, blah, 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 you know, blah, 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 you know, whatever. Then it comes up with this crap. You're giving, oh, man, crap. What do I do now? I got all these different templates. Now, if you open up a template, it's going to fill it up with all these different instruments. You're going to get, you know, for example, all right, let's, let's just, for shits and giggles, let's just go ahead and just pick like one of these templates here. I'm going to just say choose. And you go down here, you got details, and it's going to give you, you know, what tempo and all this cool stuff. That's pretty neat. Now, my audio output, this is where you pick, you know, what are you going to use for your sound card? Where are you going to get sound out of? And But right now, the way I have it recording, because so you guys can hear me, there's a, a device called Pass-Through and enables me to basically record everything and into one container so that you guys can hear it. Yay. So just, and then your audio input, you could pick whatever, but I don't need anything. Uh, you set your sample rate. You know, whatever you're recording in, frame rate as if, if you're in video or something. But pretty much all the default is is fine. So if you pick that, look, you know, this is what it's going to look like. You open it up. Takes a little bit because it's going to load all these tracks up. Well, hello. There it goes. All right. So it gives you pretty much a lot of crap. <laughs> and basically what it is. is all these different kind of instruments you got anthem chord all right what's this what's this sound like yeah all right uh-huh yeah i'm sure that was annoying and piercing to your ears as much as it was to mine and then you got this one grinding rhythm yeah get some Yep, epic hook. So right off the bat, you get a lot of cool EDM sounds. Very loud, you, you gotta turn on the volume. House chords. Yeah, that's kinda cool. Downing boom. Mm-hmm. And wind up build. Oh, that'd be cool for a site trance project. All right. And then you got this big room thing right here. And see what this sounds like. You just hit the the space key. All right. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
my mouse and hovered up over here until I got this. And then I just moved my mouse over here. And what this yellow thing is, is your cycle button or your loop button. So right now, so as I placed it right at the five, so you got one, two, three, four. So you got four bars right here, five through to nine is four bars. And if you hit the play, it's just gonna loop like that. There we go. Got something. I got a beat, and then you could do some uh, chords, something like that. I'm probably like my rhythm is like totally off right now, because I'm a white dude. I, c I have no rhythm. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you get something really cool off the bat. Now, if you want to do that, that's your thing. However, what I like to do. I don't like this. This this gets in my nerves. This gets in the way. I don't like the sounds. I mean, some of them are they're, they're pretty cool, but this is what I do. I will actually have Logic open up, and I'll go to Preferences, and I'll go to General, and then Start Up Action. It'll say Open Most Recent Project. So the very first thing I'll do is I'll I'll go ahead and I'll say Do Nothing. I don't want it opening up because a lot of times I'll have a project. It might be like you know, I want to pick and choose what I want to open. It's basically, that's it. I don't want it to open the last thing because a lot of times I don't want it opened. I'm done with it. You know, I'm, you know, if I need it, I'll open it. I don't want it to open it for me. That makes sense. So I say do nothing. Notifications, uh, nothing in there, but that's the first thing I do. Um, yeah, that's fine. Alternate versions. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. Um, your core audio is this is where you set your interface settings right here, your in-out buffer settings. Okay. If you're playing stuff on the piano and you're trying to record in live, then keep your buffer settings low. About 128 is fine. Now, if you're just mixing and you're just doing something where you don't need to play anything live, then you could bring it up to 512 and it's not really going to do anything. So that's where I set mine at. And I'll hit apply. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. Give me some. 